Hey everybody and welcome to another HowTech video tutorial. In this video we'll be showing you how to count words in Excel. There is no built-in method of counting words in Excel so we'll have to come up with our own solution. If it's a one-time thing, honestly, I'd recommend you just copy and paste all this into Microsoft Word and it'll be a lot easier for you. But let's get started. We'll first look at counting words in a single cell, a range of cells, and then the entire worksheet. So first, we'll look at counting words in a single cell. So we're going to click an empty cell and we're going to go over here to our formulas. We're going to copy and paste this first one. And you can either pause the video here and either type that or copy it from the description of this video and it should be there. So we'll copy this first formula and we'll go ahead and paste it in the formula bar. And you can see that it is selected B2, which is not what we want. So we'll drag these down so it selects this C5 cell here. And we'll hit enter on that. And you can see that it has one word in this cell, which is correct. Pears and apples. Now we have three words in that cell. Perfect. So now we'll look at word count in a range of cells. So we'll keep that empty cell selected. We'll go and copy our second formula. And then we will paste it in the formula bar. So you can see that it has a range of cells that we don't really want. So we'll just go over here to this top right handle and we can drag these over. And now this is the important part. Instead of pressing enter, we're going to press control shift and enter for the array. So we'll hit that and it says we have 25 words. So finally, we'll delete that. We'll look at counting words in the entire sheet and this is a little more difficult, but we'll go up here to the file tab. We'll hit options and we'll go down to customize ribbon and check the developer box. Hit OK on that. And now we have the developer tab at the top. We'll click that. We'll go to Visual Basic. And now a new window is opened up. We will click Insert Module. And now this new sort of notepad-esque window, we're going to type in our Visual Basic code, which is right here and we'll just select all of that and copy it and paste it here and here's the full code if you want to type that down and then we're just going to either hit f5 on the keyboard or click this play button and that will run the code for us so you can see that it is fairly difficult to <laughs> mess around like this. If it's a one-time thing, honestly, I'd recommend you just copy and paste all this into Microsoft Word and it'll be a lot easier for you. What Excel features do you want to perform? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.